This is Wilkinson and this is my RFM interview. Pre-performance routines I have are having a drink, obviously, trying to, trying to not notice people panicking on stage, trying to get things ready. And yeah, just, just usually just chilling, having a drink with, with you know, my uh, other artists and stuff like that. And that's pretty much my, uh, my routine that I do. We checked out Sinead Harnett earlier on, which is wicked, in the one extra stage. And um, I don't know really, I mean, just sort of going to wander about the stages and, uh, and see what's going on. I've only seen a tiny bit of the festival so far. I've been sleeping in the, in the bus and, uh, and yeah, just going to get my set out of the way and then just go and enjoy the rest of the festival. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to do a lot more of the, the festival shows and, and that's fortunately happened. And um, yeah, just, just really like, you know, just perform more of my music really and and, uh, and I've you know I've got 18 gigs this month so you know I, I wanted to do more gigs in 2014 I've pretty much hit my threshold of what I can do so so yeah man it's that that was pretty much my target yeah man I mean obviously I probably look a bit drained but um yeah it's, it's hard it's it's fun though you know what I mean and a lot of I was out in Spain for a couple of weeks you know doing gigs out there so in Ibiza and stuff so can't really complain about that, but you know, you do get my downtime. But um, but no, I, lo I love doing the gigs, and you know, just try and do as many as possible, really, without without dying. In my spare time, once I've slept, um, I don't know really. I used to do a lot. I used to BMX a lot, and and do a lot. Of, I used to be a gardener as well. So, but I haven't been. So I can't BMX because if I break break anything, I can't DJ. So my spare time, I'm just in the studio you know, uh, writing tunes and that's pretty much it. I've kind of devoted my life to music at the moment and uh, try and eat a bit, go out and have a few, go to a few restaurants, you know, um, get, get away from London for a bit if I can and, and that, that's pretty much what I do in my spare time. But I'm, I'm pretty much half done I think now and sort of just, it's got a lot of, uh, got a lot of new, new sort of, uh, a lot of guest vocalists on it um, that I can't really I guess I can't really announce yet because I don't even know if it's going to make it on the album. But yeah, just just working with different people and, and sort of different vocalists and getting their sort of you know influences into the album as well. And you know, definitely still um, making tunes for the clubs. You know, the more the bangers and the harder stuff. But but also writing like kind of some nice music. Um, yeah, with with different influences from vocalists and stuff like that. Yeah, sometimes um, sometimes. You know, I have a, I've started a track. I, I don't I don't tend to write a track and then send it to a vocalist because I feel that you, you've got to, it's, it's, you've got to kind of have a really small foundation there, like some chords or something like that, and then a the vocalist will come in and then you kind of through that process of spending the day with them and coming up with some verses and choruses, you can kind of see where the track's going to go, and I get like a an image in my mind, and then I take it away. And, and just sort of work on it for a couple of months, just building the beats and, and developing the style of the tune, you know? And um, and then, yeah, hopefully get an end product, basically. Well, you know, it's sort of like, a lot of, I've got a team around me that kind of suggests vocalists and stuff, and go on YouTube a lot and, you know, find find a lot of sort of, um, yeah, fresh talent on there. And, and, you know, you work with a lot of people and sometimes it doesn't always work, but, you know, tunes like Dirty Love and Afterglow and, and things like that, they, they worked, you know, and I kind of have that, you've got to have a connection with someone in, in the studio, you know, and, and, and that's the sort of uh, the end product of that, of having that connection. This is Wilkinson. For more videos from the dance music section, subscribe to RFL RFM.